Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five students. A, B, C, D. They roll the dice and obtain different numbers. Two, three, four, five, six. Not necessarily in that order. Okay, so it is not necessarily in that order. The teacher calls out seven different random numbers. The students who have their number, that is the factor of the number called out by the teacher, answered with a yes. And the ones who do not have a factor of the number answered with a no. So, for example, let us say the teacher calls out the number 15. Okay, so 3 will say yes, 5 will also say yes. So, likewise, whatever number is called out, if their number is the factor of that number, they will say yes, otherwise they will say no. Then we are given some more conditions that the sum of the 7 numbers is 100 and each of them is greater than 2. The sum of the first and the second numbers is 30. Okay. The teacher did not call out the numbers 6 and 7. Exactly one of the called numbers is less than 10. And then this is the table which is given to us. Now we are not given that which are the numbers that are called out. Uh, which person got which number on the dice. So we will have to figure all these things out. Now let us look at first and second numbers because the total is given as 30. Now in number 2, 4 people are saying yes. Okay. So if we consider let us say 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the LCM of these numbers? We see that the LCM is 60. Now that number cannot be 60 because that's that's way much than a total of 30. Okay. So this means that if we remove the element of 5 and we bring in 6, then the LCM becomes 12. Okay. Now it could be 12, it could be 24, multiple of 12. Okay. So minimum 12. Now it says that if we this is second number. Now accordingly, the first number would be 18 or 6. It is given that did not call out 6. So this means this is not possible. So second number is 12 and the first number is 18. Now 12 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 6 but not by 5. So this means Chaya had a number 5 on the dice. Now we are left with these many numbers. Okay. And all these are different numbers. That also we need to keep in mind. Now, if you look at the fifth number, the fifth number, four of them again say yes, which means it must be a multiple of 12. So, if we talk about the fifth number, it is going to be a multiple of 12. So, 12 is already used. It can be either 24, 36 or a higher number like 48 and so on. So let us figure out that which of these is possible. Now, since we have a total constraint, so in such cases, extreme numbers, I mean the higher numbers are usually not possible. So the total remaining total is 70. If we put 48 in this itself, and we know that only one number is less than 10, even if we put 10, 10, 10, this will be more than 70. So 48 can easily be ruled out. Again, if we think of 36, now, these are the numbers are uh, exactly one number is less than 10. Suppose if even if we take 10, 11, 12, right? So this adds to uh, uh, what do you say? 33 and 36, 69. Okay. And like even if this is all numbers are greater than 2. So that will again become greater than 70. So we can easily rule out the possibility of 36 as well. So this means the fifth number is going to be 24. Okay. Now we are left with four numbers and their total is 46. All right. Now the next thing is <clears throat> one of these numbers, see number third is divisible by five. Okay. Now if the third number is divisible by five, it can be five. So let us see the initial few multiples of 5. Okay. 10 is not possible because it is only divisible by 5 by not every any other number. 15 also is divisible by 3. So not possible. 20 not possible. 30 is again divisible by 2 and 3. So not possible. 
So it can be either 5 or 25. Okay. Now total remaining is 46. If we subtract 25, let us assume that the number is 25. So it means that the remaining numbers should add up to 21, the three numbers. And even if we take the minimum 10 and 11 for two numbers, we are unable to get the total. So the key to solving this problem is the total constraint. This means that this number cannot be 25 also. So this number has to be 5. So we get one more number that is 5. Now the total comes down to 41 and we have to insert three numbers and all of these numbers are basically greater than uh, like 10 because we have already figured out the number which is less than 10. So this is done. This is done. 6 and 7 not called out. Okay. That is also now uh, clear because uh, 5 we have already inserted. Okay. And no other number is less than 10. Now we need to figure out the remaining three numbers that are that become 41. Okay. All right. So now let us see this. Uh, these are the numbers. Okay. So another thing which we skipped till now is 18. So 18 is not divisible by this. So Emily should be 4. Okay. That also can be put. We are left with 2, 3 and 6. Now, if we see the fourth number, it is no. That means uh, it can be a prime number or a number which is not divisible by any of these. Okay. The sixth number is divisible by five and one another number. Okay. Sixth number if we talk about. So, this number, now Bindi cannot be six because if it is six, then it should be divisible by two and three also. But it is divisible by only uh, only 5 and this number. So it can be either 2 or it can be 3. <clears throat> okay. So sixth number, if it is divisible by 2 and uh, like 2 or 5, so it will be 10. It cannot be uh, like uh, 20 because it will be divisible by 4 also in that case. So it is 10 or it is 15. Okay. So higher numbers can easily be eliminated. It cannot be 30 because it will be divisible by uh, 2 and 3 and 6 also. So this means it can be either 10 or 15. Okay. Since we are playing on the higher number game. So let us try to figure out that if this is. So if we assume that this is 15. Just assuming ki this is 15. So this means this will be 3. Okay. Now if we take 15. We are left with 26. <coughs> Now we need to find a factor of 3 which is not a multi a multiple of 3 which is not a multiple of any of these numbers. Okay. So if we look out 3 which is not possible. So we will have to take greater than 10. So if we take 12 that is not possible. 15 not possible because multiple of 5. 18 not possible. 21 is possible. If we consider this then 21 is the only possible number which we can minimum possible number. There are higher values also. So if we take 21, then this number should be 5. Again, not possible. Okay. So this means our assumption of this number being 15 is incorrect. So this number should be 10. If this is 10, this means Bindi had a dice number of 2. Okay. So if this is 10, now from 20, uh, we had 41 minus 10, we are left with 31. Okay. All right. Now 31 is left and we need to find some number which is basically <coughs> divisible by 2 but not by any other number. Okay. So let us do the same activity here. So if we have, uh, this is the seventh number that we are figuring out. So 10, if we take it is divisible by 5, so not possible. 12, not possible. 14 is possible. Okay. Because uh, it is not divisible by any other number. 16 is not possible divisible by 4, 18 is not possible, 20 is not possible, 22 is possible only divisible by 2. But if we take see the total remaining is 31. If we take 22 this will be 9 and we have only one number which is less than 10. So this means this is also not possible. So the number that remains is 14 
and the fourth number is hence 17 fourth number 17 and the seventh number as 14 so this gives us the total of 100 and satisfying all these given conditions so the first question is who had the dice number who had the number 6 on her dice now alina and deepthi they both could have 3 or 6 because see 18 is divisible by 3 and 6 okay 12 is also divisible by 3 and 6 24 is also divisible by 3 and 6 so we cannot determine that who has the number 6 on our dice what is the highest number called out by the teacher that is 24 how many prime numbers were called out by the teacher okay so we have two prime numbers 5 and 17 what is the seventh number called out the seventh number is 14 how many numbers called out by the teacher exceeded 20 so there is only one number which exceeds 20 which is 24 so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved this set so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel